Attention, gentlemen. Our source on the island just made a critical discovery. The Constant has a poison chip embedded in his neck. A failsafe, in case he's compromised. Damn it. Uh, we should have expected something like this. So, we subdue the Constant before he has time to react. Not that simple. The device is remote triggered, and during his stay on the island, two kill switches have been entrusted to twin sisters Zoe and Sophia Washington, two young, ambitious Providence operatives and newly appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Apparently, even the Constant is unaware of this arrangement. Right, change of plans. We divide and conquer. 47 takes out the Washingtons while I figure out a way to get the Constant off the island. It'll be tight, but once we're back at the ship, we should be able to surgically remove the ship before the partners have time to react. 47? Tell me about the targets. I know them from the archive. Zoe and Sophia's father is president of a powerful conservative think tank, one of Providence's prime assets. The apples don't fall far from the tree. No saints either. According to ICA files, the twins are pampered socialites who get their kicks from treasure hunting. Commanding a band of trigger-happy mercenaries, Zoe and Sophia prowl the world in search for ancient relics. With little regard for local culture or even human life, they stop at nothing to claim their prize. Well, collateral damage they may be, but safe to say, they have it coming. The Isle of Scale. Headquarters of the Ark Society. Founded by Janus in 1991, the Ark Society is the world's most exclusive club. Its plutocratic members fear the downfall of civilization, and they are willing to pay huge sums to ensure their own survival. Once a year, they gather here to shop the latest survival products and to showcase new initiatives and breakthroughs. Right. These gatherings are shrouded in mystery, so we have limited intel on what to expect on the other side of the walls. The Washington Twins are hosting their first annual gathering as chairwomen of the Ark Society, and the Constant is known to attend every year. Beyond that, you're on your own. Good luck, gentlemen. I dare say you're going to need it.
Nice. So, let me see if I got this straight. The chairwomen run the Ark Society, and they employ an R&D team of scientists and engineers who develop all these crazy projects. Cars that are used. Hey, who's trying to break my balls here? Dude, you know that's very suspicious behavior, right? Still in session? No, they've called a recess. You're Blake Nathaniel, right? Well, to cut a long story short, it began with a Portuguese gal. your prize dagger, now can we? Miss Washington, I forget which one. She tells me it belonged to Tsar Nicholas and that it might have been used to stab rats. <laughs>
Life is transitory, but death is forever. Okay. So we I might as well this. look our best for the final journey. Don't you oh. agree? Hmm. Maybe a touch more rouge. <laughs> Set. Cue the music.
better run than most. And the most successful spy in modern history. Oh, and that whole Jasper Knight incident was just... Brilliant. He died the way he lived. Anyway, enjoy your rest. that. You've earned it. Now, why would they think you'd be capable of a thing like that? Wow. So fierce looking even in death. Mortician is a genius. I totally believe that you once wrestled a brown bear to a tie. Anyway, Godspeed, Mr. Janus. Sorry I never knew you. Goodbye, Janus. We won't forget you. Odd how you helped shape the 20th century, and yet nobody knows your name. As for Don, you old boy, you were always the best of us. I still can't believe I never got to beat you at chess. So long, my dear. I can't believe you're gone. Last of the greats. I'll make sure those naive fools who replaced you won't mess things up too bad. Don't you worry. Goodbye, old friend, and thank you for everything. Rest assured, I will finish what you started. So, here we are. You didn't want me and Sophia taking over. Fought us tooth and nail, but a fat lot of good it did you. Partners, they turned a deaf ear, and deep down, Janus, you know why. Because, for all your smarts, you're just rank and file. Pedestrian, middle-class, blah. And we have the one thing Merit can't buy. Blue. Blood. That... One target down. Nice work, 47. Next up, Sophia Washington. A remote trigger. Must be a kill switch. Hmm. I bet this would make the constant come quietly. But first things first, 47. Focus on the target. Stad designer in charge of the brain upload program? Sure. What did he Good. do? Good. I don't know. But she seems really interested in this adventure. Coming home. Don't move. I'll go check. I will stay here. Washington makes 
Climate change denial has served you well so far, but the world is finally catching up. The Corona Treaty is only the beginning. Mr. Block, you look troubled. I know you, don't I? You're Janus' man. I'm a friend of the Ark Society, yes. If I may be so bold, I heard about your predicament and, well, I believe I may offer a fresh perspective. Why not? Shoot. All right. Say the world does collapse, the weather goes haywire if the poles melt, and the Ark Society heads off to a comfortable Arctic sanctuary while the rest of civilization falls into chaos. That's about the gist of it. Sounds great to me. No more needy assholes. Why wait? Well, you do realize what kind of place it'll be, right? What are you talking about? A hundred or so people? No market, no economy, no social structures. It will be like a space colony. Everyone equal and dependent on each other. It will be egalitarian, sir. It will be, well, communist. My God, that's what I paid almost two billion for? Why didn't anyone tell me sooner? Merely food for thought, Mr. Block. Good night. I... I need to... Uh, think. Miss Washington, after due consideration, I have revised my position. I would like to support your motion. Well, well, look at you, Block. Finding your good sense and manners. Come along, then. I'll call a vote at once. I knew you'd come around. You're stubborn, Block, but you're not a schmuck. You know I'm right. The analysts of oh, my greetings. father's think tank have been grinding the data for months. And they are rarely wrong. The Karuna Agreement, climate litigation. We estimate that fossil fuel companies like yours have a decade, at best, before you're all resigned to the junkyard of history. And what kind of secret society would we be if we didn't keep each other in power? What indeed? I knew we could talk sense. Just vote in favor of my motion, and I promise you, Block, you'll power the world for decades to come. But who cares how? As long as you're the one getting paid. Ain't that the truth? Friends and founders, the recess is over. Let's return to the council room and proceed with the vote. I think you were coming on a little too strong, mister. Decades, you, the titans of the energy industry, have conspired to obscure the truth about climate change through lobbying, 
misinformation, and propaganda. This strategy has been incredibly successful, but all good things must come to an end. It is time for you to adapt or die, ladies and gentlemen. This is why our analysts have devised a 10-year transition plan to keep you in power. Play this right, and you will not only thrive, but this time, you will be the good guys. In other words, you have nothing to lose. So, everyone in favor, say aye. 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 Yay or nay, Block? Silence is consent. Nay. Excuse me? You heard me. Nay. Oh, for the love of... Ah, oh, idiot. Son of a... Blocked. You stupid... Oh. That's... Four eyes and one nay. Jebediah Block vetoes the motion. This council is adjourned until further notice. Block. A word? Upstairs. Right away, please. So, are you gonna tell me what the hell you're playing at? Just looking out for number one. Don't be an idiot. There's no future in coal, Block. You have one choice. Go green or go extinct. Now, personally, I don't give a shit if you go the way of the Dodo, but you are one of the Ark Society's biggest contributors. We'd hate to lose your business. Besides, if terrestrial coal goes under, who will pay for your children's survival? Your grandkids. After all, nobody says disaster will strike in our lifetime. You have a moral duty to stay rich, Block. Nice try, but I don't have grandchildren. You just had to make this difficult, didn't you? Here's the deal, Block. My family and I we serve a group of powerful individuals who prefer to stay anonymous. Letting the climate go to hell in a handbasket has served their interests well, but only up to a point. You see, they are sitting on some patents that'll knock your socks off. Weather control systems, recycling pollution as fuel, cold fusion, you name it. And they plan to make trillions protecting the world very threat they worked so hard to create, but to do so, they need you guys to quite literally stop fighting windmills. Huh. The truth at last. And what's in it for Jebediah Block? Gentlemen, please give me and Mr. Block a moment. you a carrot. Now, here's the stick. We know about Montana. The mine collapse in 2015. No! Both targets down. Impressive work, 47. And now, to confront the constant. Mr. Gray, what's your status? I'm at the helicopter, but the place is crawling with security. 47, you better bring the Constant to one of the boats in the harbor where it's quiet. You can use the kill switch to coerce him. Mikhail, fill me in. 
So the transcripts are real. Janus really did call the estate in Romania? Could the signal have been faked or the dates altered? Don't underestimate Lucas Gray. That's a mistake we're not making again. If he wanted Janus dead, he is fully capable of tricking ICA to do his dirty work. Don't forget he's done it before. The real question is why? If Gray somehow knew about Janus, he would use him to get to me, not have him killed. <sighs> yeah, that bothers me as well. Let's say Gray was just a figurehead and that Janus really was the true head of the militia. How did he make Cassidy turn traitor so fast? The man was loyal to a fault, and yet Burnwood insisted that Janus and Cassidy work together. The only explanation would be if ICA knew that Cassidy could contradict their version of the story. But this makes no sense. What reason would they have to go after Janus? ICA is neutral. I need to think. Thank you, Mikhail. So, Locke stepped to his guns. Why am I not surprised? Hmm. Moving in unison would have had its advantages. Modern society being what it is, my guess is that it sort of quaint. You want to bomb, Sir. do a little research into pandemics. Some of the vulnerabilities in so-called modern pandemics... Yeah, sorry, man. It's a no-go. Oh, seriously. Sometimes I can't tell if you're trying to talk me into spending all my money or sealing it in a cement block. I'm just saying, if you're preparing for with a bunker in your backyard and a bunch of MREs. You're not seeing the whole picture. You're not even thinking about the big picture. You want a factor X? Extreme weather, wildfires, all of that. That's the one-two punch that breaks it all down within our lifetime. Day to you, sir. winter
The Washingtons are dead. I have the kill switch. What did you say? How could you know about that? You will head towards the harbor. No sudden moves. No signs or warnings. I will trigger the device if I need to. I know you. The boy in the picture. You have his eyes. You're Pinewood's assassin. Move. Partners no more, I take it. I had a notion something didn't sit right with my mentor's betrayal. You murdered him, I take it, to get to me. Not just that. He had it coming. Interesting. It was my impression that you were cured of such sentiment. The good doctor built his serum specifically to target the seats of your emotions. Has Miss Burnwood's sense of justice rubbed off on you? I wonder. Just keep walking. always found Ortmeier's project distasteful, not to mention inefficient. But alas, sometimes you have to play the hand you're dealt. Oh, I know. Climate change. <laughs> Sophia Washington is trying to persuade Janus's original five to embrace the green Evening, sir. That the original five are always Sir, I hope you're well. Well, he was gone, and the next minute he was back in the coffin again. And I, I take it this is not an ICA sanctioned operation. What exactly does Miss Burnwood plan to achieve by targeting her clients? Violating her own code? She's doing it for us. Us? Oh, I see. The penny drops. I should have known. How does a man leave no trace by not existing in the first place? Lucas Gray, or was it Subject 6? He died when the Institute went up in flames, but no body was ever produced. And unlike you, his rage never failed. Us? Oh, I see. The penny drops. I should have known. How does a man leave no trace? By not existing in the first place. Lucas Gray. Or was it Subject 6? He died when the Institute went up in flames, but no body was ever produced. And unlike you, his rage never faded. So, now you want the partners, the men behind the curtain who have caused you all this pain. Well, before you go knocking down a wall, you better make sure it's not lower bearing.
enough talking. You'll do plenty of that later. We're here. Get on the boat. <laughs>